hello everyone welcome back to exotic astrology and the other day somebody had asked me a question that what is the ultimate lesson which is there in the draupadi vastraharan pastime which is there in the mahabharat so is it a social uh, cause or what it is, what is it is it something about women or men or is it something spiritual or is it something very high level which uh, nobody understands which nobody talks about so i was very impressed to see this question so i thought i must answer it in a short notice all right so i've already made a video on uh, lessons from draupadi that that is there in this playlist so if you have not watched that then please go and watch it and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me from my website you will find the link in the description below there you go so we know of that horrific incidents which happened in the mahabharat in the asat sabha asat means asat sabha means that assembly where wrong things are going on and unfortunately there are great personalities like bhishma pitama and dronacharya who and including vidur who is yamaraj himself incarnation of yamaraj so all these three personalities great personalities they also tried their best to stop the disrobing of draupadi but somehow all their efforts could not uh, stop that all their efforts were in vain not that they that they they were useless but they tried their best but somehow they could not although they could have stopped bhishma could have said yes i will not let this happen do whatever you want <laughs> but he did not do that the question is why how can a great personality who is known as dharmaraj yes the mahabharat does not vyasdev does not coin anybody in the entire mahabharat as dharmaraj it is only yudhishthir maharaj who is coined as dharmaraj why how in the universe can such a great personality put his wife in stake well of course that's a long story he had put himself also in stake so uh, many people say to yudhishthir that oh you had put your wife uh, in stake but people don't know that before putting her he had put himself also so those are all mundane interpretations what happened and all those details who did what let's not go into them but the important thing in the past time of draupadi is disturbing is that sometimes <laughs> see generally because i am from india i can say this that if something hap- happens to the wife or to the children people will directly go and blame the husband the father yes <laughs> wherever i used to see that there is some problem with the spouse or the wife or the kids then people will say oh maybe the husband was not capable or maybe the husband is not responsible maybe the husband is not strong yes maybe the husband is not a uh, potent enough to protect his family so this is what people say generally in india i have seen suppose somebody kidnaps your wife when you are catching her hand yes then you will be blamed right but in case of draupadi she did not have one husband she had 1 2 3 4 5 5 husbands and they were the most powerful personalities to have ever lived nobody more powerful than them has lived during that time yudhishthir maharaj the perfection of dharma the perfection of spirituality that is why he is known as dharmaraj then bhima is next sibling yes he is the epitome of strength nobody could even think of what to, what to speak of defeating i mean forget it nobody could even imagine of even <laughs> looking at his face he was so de- he, he was so deadly and then we have arjuna who is the best warrior in the battlefield he was the best archer he was the recipient of the bhagavad gita lord krishna's favorite <laughs> and then nakul and sahadev also had their powers so sometimes when even we have such powerful husbands yes not one not two not three not four five husbands they can be the most powerful personalities and above that there are people like bhishma pitama 
शंभू नारद शंभु कुमारो कपिलो मनु प्रहलादो जनको भीष्मो बलिर्वया सखी वयम ही इज वन ऑफ द ट्वेल्व महाजन दी श्रीमद भागवतम डिस्क्राइब्स द ट्वेल्व ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज हु आर अथॉरिटीज इन स्पिरिचुअल विजडम एंड आउट ऑफ दैट भीष्म इज वन ऑफ दैम कैन यू इमेजिन श्रीमद भागवतम इज टेलिंग दैट वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट स्पिरिचुअलिटी गो एंड सी द लाइफ ऑफ दीज ट्वेल्व पर्सनैलिटीज एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज भीष्म and he was the one who had checked parshuram also after fighting with him for 28 days when amba had gone to parshuram and parshuram could not defeat bhishma and at the end bhishma almost defeated parshuram but he retracted back can you imagine the prowess of this man he was a lifelong celebrate my god if he would stand and say i will not let this disrobing of draupadi happen who in the universe could have dare to say oh i will fight with you i want to see this woman naked nobody in the entire universe would have done that even all the armies of the entire universe combined they cannot fight with this personality what to speak of all this duryodhana shakuni dushasan and karan all this they, they are like toys in front of him he can just throw them out like wind can come and take away leaves so but even he could not or he did not and then there is dronacharya so dronacharya he was also the disciple of parshuram like bhishma and then he was also the son of the great bharadwaj rishi and he also was so powerful that no no body in the entire university said that he could alone fight with the combined army of the entire demigods he was so powerful he was the guru of all the kurus and pandava sitting there even he was there <laughs> then vidura was yamraj himself yes when yamraj was cast once by somebody if you know then please write it in the comments who had cast yamraj and do you know the story yamraj also got cast by somebody and then he had to come down because he wanted actually to come here so we will discuss about that some other day but the point here is even when a personality like yamaraj is there who is the epitome of dharma yes we all know that yudhishthira maharaj is son of yamaraj himself he is expansion basically and vidura is yamaraj himself so even when there are personalities like yamaraj sometimes <laughs> we can still fail that is the reason and then the main thing is not that we fail we fail then so what we keep failing every day we keep seeing wrong things every day what's so big about it the important thing is we fail but when everything fails god is the only protector that is why i keep saying god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so draupadi's vastar and the biggest the biggest the biggest the biggest the biggest lesson is that you may have your father he may be an is officer or a politician he may be a great film star your grandfather could be one of the great stalwarts of his times your great grandfather could be a millionaire he could be dhirubhai ambani he could be microsoft <laughs> or he could be apple blueberry blackberry he could be anybody founder of any such company or he might be mahatma gandhi also whoever he might be yes whoever but whoever they will be they will not be more powerful than yudhishthira right they will not be more powerful than bhishma they will not be more powerful than drona but the thing is even if they are powerful like them sometimes still they might not be able to protect you that is the biggest lesson sometimes they can also behave in ways which you feel oh my god why this injustice is happening to me yes sometimes they can also behave like that and that is what happens in that uh, instance bhishma pitama even when he could uh, stop that but he did not stop it drona could have stopped it but still he did not yudhishthir and I, i mean of course they had already become slaves so they had no say because duryodhana had won them but at least people like bhishma and drona were there so that is what krishna wants to tell us that is what god wants to tell us that look you have too much faith like uh, my grandfather was an is officer in the government of india there 
and uh, even my father was uh, retiring retiring as a commissioner and secretary so whenever my father's colleagues used to come to my home uh, to our place to visit for lunch and dinner they used to tell in phone hey don't you know who you are talking to pata nahi kisse baat kar raha hai in hindi this in india this is very famous they will say oh you don't know who i am i am is officer i am this i am that so sometimes people will say oh my uncle is there in government na no, he is this he is that he has connections to mlas he has connections to this he has connections to that yes sometimes people say oh i i will just shut your mouth by money how much money you want 2 crore 3 3 crore yes 10 million dollars i will give you recently i saw that uh, this us president donald trump he was having some scandal or some controversy with the porn star that he paid some money or something w- whatever it is i'll not go into that but the point is we might think sometimes that oh we have all these resources we have our power we have our power our own power which which also dropadi had it said when dushasan had come to uh, snatch her to grab her then she had pushed dushasan away and dushasan fell down but dushasan was extremely powerful and dropadi was a lady so she in no way could physically overcome dushasan strength wise but even then she tried her best and she had pushed dushasan away once so she did everything from her side with her own power people say na yes i will do it my hand na apne dam pe karenge apne bahubal pe karenge <laughs> i will do it with my own strength my own power nobody can stop me i will do it myself i don't need anybody oh you want to help me go to hell get lost i will do it myself i don't need anybody people say all this right sometimes so we can have our strength and dropadi had supreme intelligence so she start when she was dragged into the assembly she started discussing about what is right what is wrong yes see sometimes people say oh you are so intelligent he is so intelligent she is so intelligent but sometimes our intel our own intelligence can also fail at times and then we might have our relatives we might have a husband who is very handsome who is very strong who is well built who is very rich who is very powerful who is very intelligent who has lot of influence and affluence and we can have great gurus like dronacharya and great elders and seniors like bhishma but sometimes <laughs> the way this material world is made is dukhalay mashashvatam napnavanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata that this world is a place of misery and when suffering has to come it will come in the least unexpected manner in the least expected time by the least expected people can you imagine if you consider relations duryodhana and draupadi draupadi is the bhabhi sister in law right and duryodhan is the deva in hindi <laughs> brother in law so can you imagine the deva telling the bhabhi that open your clothes yes in front of everybody can you imagine this this doesn't happen in kaliyuga even and then imagine nobody protects you yes how will you feel there was this uh, serial in star plus uh, it was in 2014 it ended so there was this uh, actress her name was pooja sharma or pooja datta i guess pooja sharma yes so uh, they were shooting this instance of draupadi's vastraharan so then uh, there was a reporter there was a in uh, a lady who was interviewing her so she asked her that oh my dear pooja when dushasan was pulling your sari how were you feeling <laughs> then she said i cannot explain to you what i was feeling i cannot explain i simply can just understand what draupadi was going through my god i cannot explain it is like <laughs> I, i cannot explain there are no words to explain i can just imagine what she was going through so can you imagine Draupadi my god so intelligent she was the most beautiful lady to have lived <laughs> there was nobody more beautiful than her she was the epitome of all beauty all divine virtues good qualities all those things were there 
and that is why sometimes people ask me oh i have lived my life good always but why did this happen to me so whenever i hear this i tell them look you are not an exception even a great lady like draupadi had to face that so just because we are good doesn't mean that the world will always be good to us okay and when these things happen to us which is totally unbearable we have to understand that there is only one person who can help us in this in this scenario and who is that he is god himself so whichever tradition you are you are a hindu you are a muslim you are a christian you are a jew you are a sikh or you are a zoroastrian or you are a buddhist whatever is there in your scriptures whatever is the destination so only that source energy god as the shrimad bhagavatam says abhigya swarat he is supremely independent only he can save you nobody else can save us and actually it is only god who protects us it is not our family members it is not our husband or wife or our children or our parents they don't protect us actually actually it is god who protects us through them and that's the best part about dorpadi that when she understood it's not happening my sari is about to fall <laughs> i can't i tried everything i tried my own strength i tried to talk to my husbands but they are speechless because they have become slaves because they have lost themselves they are not speaking a word i have asked the great grand sire bhishma pitama he is not speaking i have asked dronacharya i have asked the king dhritarashtra is the king yes government prime minister i see people debating yes who was a better prime minister <laughs> who which which prime minister is more strong is donald trump more strong or uh vladimir putin is more strong yes among these two presidents so i see people debating on all these things so the thing is we have to understand that how much ever powerful somebody may be but if something is destined that will always happen that will happen either ways and when something of like that sort happens we have to just do what dropadi had done she had completely surrendered herself to krishna and then lord krishna came and protected her and that is what is also demonstrated in the past time that dharmo rakshati rakshita this is a very important saying in the scriptures that when you follow dharma dharma protects you should i repeat when you follow dharma dharma will protect you so she was the epitome of dharma she was a perfect wife anybody could have she was the perfect daughter in law she was the perfect mother so she used to do all her duties perfectly and then she was extremely spiritual also she was so spiritual that when she called krishna krishna personally used to come so she was not just a mundane materialistic wife just taking care of yudhishthir or bhim or arjun nakul sadev no that she was doing externally but as kunti marani says in the prayers alaksham sarva bhutanam antar bahir avasthitam alaksham sarva bhutanam antar bahir avasthitam oh krishna you are antar and bahir you are inside and you are outside also <laughs> so uh, kunti marani also says yes that let my consciousness flow towards you like the ganges flows towards the ocean surpassing all the hindrances that it encounters within its path within its journey so kunti and draupadi these two are the perfect examples who were not only perfect as a lady lady means they were perfect as the wife they were perfect as a mother no complaints from anybody we do not find yudhishthir maharaj calling up arjun and saying hey draupadi didn't do this man <laughs> there is no instance where uh, there is any complaint against these two yes when queens of dwarka come to hastinapur to ask draupadi that how do you manage five husbands then she used to say oh i get up before they get up i sleep after they sleep so first they will feed all of the five pandavas then kunti will eat and after that if something used to remain draupadi would eat yes so these are th- this is the level of sacrifice which she had done and about spirituality god knows <laughs> which wh- what is her level maybe no nobody can even think that can you imagine you call and krishna directly comes god personally comes to save you my god <laughs> all right so that is it is the uh, lesson from this past time that how much ever powerful we are we may be very beautiful we may have lot of resources we may be very intelligent we may have connections we may have people we may have everything but still sometimes there's nobody who can protect us and that is what happens to people sometimes 
even when we are good then also we might encounter situations and in those times what should we do we should do that what uh, which Draupadi had done all right so she had surrendered to God and that is what also we should be doing okay so this is what I wanted to share from Draupadi's Vastraharan Leela <laughs> and Lord Krishna had specifically arranged this pastime so that uh, even great personalities like Bhishma and Drona and Yudhishthira they also behave in ways which are not proper as per customs of society and rules of dharma see bhishma is one of the 12 mahajans when draupadi asks him that oh how can a person who has lost himself put me into stake then can you imagine what a funny reply bhishma gives bhishma says oh the laws of dharma are very complex i'm confused <laughs> i mean come on man how can one of the 12 mahajans say that he's confused about dharma that that's impossible he can never be confused and at the end of the Mahabharata, for 52 freaking days, in his death bed of full of arrows, he gives lessons to Yudhishthira. The entire universe is hearing his lessons. How can that personality say to Dwarpadeh, Oh, I am confused. I don't know what Dharma is. Dharma is very complex, you see. How can he say that? He, he cannot say it. <laughs> so, Krishna has arranged this first time, specifically. <laughs> To teach everybody that look you have trust on these people you have trust on your government you have trust on your parents you have trust on your brother your father your mother your husband your wife they will protect you no they are not going to protect you they will also throw you out sometimes <laughs> that is what happens people call me and message me and email me oh my husband ditched me my boyfriend cheated on me my girlfriend cheated on me my wife is having an affair with somebody can you Tell me when that affair is going to end. Yes, so these are the things which also happens to us sometimes. Everybody uh, does injustice with us. Okay, so that is it I wanted to say. So if you are new, then please subscribe. And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website. The link is there in the description below. Okay, until next time with another video. Bye bye. See you soon.